Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the castle? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <clears throat> It's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Yes, I can, Lieutenant. You pulling rank on me, boss? We're just soldiers down here, no? Sure. But this soldier will clean the floor with you if you step out of line. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Nice. What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Tough choice, but it was the right call. You think so? I would have done the same. That's what's funny. You were doing the same thing. You took out the collectors. We never needed that intel. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming my... I do. You a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Good to hear it. But you sacrifice yourself or my ship needlessly. That's unacceptable. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay? Your ship, your rules. Your loss. Commander. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. With my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. 
How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident, and practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy Retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the good work. Yes, Commander. 